Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be going through the Ethereum chart today and the $85,000 prediction on Ethereum. Is this realistic? Is this possible? That would be life changing sums of money if we see this massive explosive move to the upside on Ethereum. I will be going through that in this video. I'm also going to be going over more of the local term time frame ideas as I do obviously sit in a long position on Ethereum and on Bitcoin along with a few other people right now. Obviously Mike done the first Ethereum video for you yesterday. This is a follow-up and uh, ladies and gentlemen I hope that you really enjoyed this video. It's going to be a bit, bit of a three parts starting off part number one introduction. Part number two local term time frame, how I am actually trading this using the technical analysis. And part number three, wow, that $85,000 prediction. Is this at all realistic? Is this potential? And well, let's go over that towards the end of the video. Starting off with a really quick introduction. Obviously, it was my birthday weekend. It went, it, we, we partied hard, had a good time. It was nice to take a little, you know, a little bit of time off of the charts and, uh, you know, just get absolutely got pretty wasted. It was a it was a brilliant time though, and uh, yeah, for the people that I spoke to over on Twitter, obviously I had a I had a fun time trolling over on Twitter. So please do not take any of the tweets that I've done over the weekend seriously, because yeah, I was in a trolling mood, and yeah, I'll just stay say that for the YouTube though. This is going to be back on on the professional as always. The YouTube that will keep this. So with that said. Let's go into the chart, shall we? So, um, yeah, yesterday morning, I obviously was posting out a few tweets saying, you know, I, I think personally Bitcoin's looking you know, pretty decent here. Obviously, we're still in a range, hit the low of the range. You know, generally, you're obviously looking for longs at the low of the range and shorts up at the higher of the range. So, yeah, I'm long on Bitcoin. And then also was mentioning the altcoins are looking interesting. So long on a few altcoins as well, which obviously includes Ethereum right now. So, that's obviously the first thing to be aware of. I am long on these assets at the moment. Uh, obviously, from a little bit lower than where we are right now, because, you know, even since Mike released that video yesterday, Ethereum moved up about uh, another 8%. So just something to bear in mind, obviously, saying, you know, all right, profits already on these coins, but uh, nothing massive. Uh, so, yeah, let's begin then. So Ethereum, um, I mean, we, what we can do is start here on the four hour time frame. And, uh, you know, this this and this part is going to be very similar to what Mike was saying yesterday. I think he, you know, he captured it very well. Obviously, uh, myself and Mike are not the same trader. So he, Mike trades his own plans. I trade my own plans. Sometimes they're similar. Sometimes they're extremely different, you know. Um, but here our Ethereum analysis is, is pretty similar, I, I believe, really on the local term time frame here. Uh, massive weekly support. Obviously, it was not touched on each of these three times. Slightly front run, that you know, that's absolutely you know fine. So, it's slight front run of the weekly, uh, which obviously this was a, for me would have been an amazing buying opportunity. But because it never hit, it never got involved at the very lows of the move there, which is fine. Uh, I managed to get in. Well, you saw in, in my in my in my in my, in my, in my money shot uh, one thousand nine hundred dollars, and that was really simply. Unfortunately, I did miss the long off the weekly. Was waiting for this, and it never come. But that doesn't matter. You have to get in when you then see the next sign of strength, which was for me after we got the confirmed trend change and we started to obviously hold back above. Well, well for me, it was after we got the trend change back up above the value area high. I don't know, it just looked decent to think to myself, yeah, I'm happy to get involved and buy this again now. Um, clear demand coming in off around the weekly level. You know, for me, it's it's enough to, to buy. So well, that brings us up to where we are now. We obviously have seen a fairly nice rise to the upside. I am also going to be taking a look at the ETH BTC pair in a second. Um, so yeah, you can see, you know, this is the thing. I wouldn't get too drawn to patterns on the lower term timeframes, but some people are going to see this as maybe a rising wedge here locally. So you can see, start to see, you could potentially have this rising wedge. Again, I'm not really a pattern trader, to be honest with you, but I'm sure some people are looking at this. Rising wedge obviously is a bearish pattern, but you could just see it do this, for example, and, and then continue up again. So yeah, I'd be, <clears throat> I'm not personally trading that rising wedge, but it's just something I saw in the Bitcoin charts. <laughs> um, yeah, so for me, obviously the bigger resistance is coming in here around the daily, which is 20, uh, he said 22, $2,242. Obviously, that weekly, sorry, was $1,686, if you want to take notes of these. And the big monthly is obviously still there at $2,776. Um, 
So you can view this as a range. Obviously, this is the low of the range. This is would be the middle of the range, which you can use for take profits on longs or switching into short positions, of course. And then you have the high of the range up, up at the monthly, really. On this is, uh, you know, a range that has been going on for, uh, you know, over a month, over a month, really, when you zoom back a little bit as well. So, you know, it's a well-defined range. And, um, you know, if we break that monthly and start holding it as support and that big weekly is coming in, $3,928. So I feel at the moment we have to, <clears throat> excuse me, trade the range for what it is. E.g., you know, you lean bullish at the lows of the range. You lean not necessarily bearish on the middle of the range, but caution, scalp shorts of the middle of the range, but bigger targets towards the higher range, just like Bitcoin, really, just like Bitcoin. Uh, we obviously had the very well-defined daily level at uh, 30,300, 30, which is obviously the lower the range. At the lower the range, you look for longs. And at the higher the range, you look for shorts. So that same theory applies to Ethereum. You look for longs at the lower the range, shorts at the higher the range, and the middle of the middle of the channel, Bit of, a, bit of a day trader's paradise, I suppose. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's my initial thoughts on the ETH USD pair. But obviously, I'm basing a lot of my stuff, even though I'm trading ETH USD and ETH USDT, obviously on Bybit. I do like to look at the uh, well, really Coinbase or Binance charts to get a bit of a understanding of what's going on on, on the spot side of things. So I like to look at the ETH BTC strength, although I'm not actually trading this pair. And we can see this big weekly level, uh, which was obviously a resistance, has now broken. You can see here prior, it's been a very nice support, flipped into resistance, and locally here, flips back into support. Again, we would like to see a weekly close above this weekly level, but we're only on Tuesday. So there's a long time to wait for this. E.g., I would be more interested in the lower term timeframes, but aware a weekly close above this is, is really what we want to see. Um, but then it does, you know, you do risk missing, uh, you know, it all, all comes down to risk at the reward at the end of the day. If you wait for the weekly close, you could totally miss the move if this explodes, or you could wait for the weekly close and Ethereum dumps, didn't take the trade, you're very happy. <clears throat> so it all comes down to that risk to reward at the end of the day, you know, and uh, of course this video is not financial advice, so you have to make that decision yourself whether this is worth the risk to reward here. But I feel this weekly level is very important. Now we are above it. I wouldn't really want to see us losing this level or if we lost the level for me this is a again I'm trading against USD but losing this level for me would be a, a, a sign of weakness yeah I wouldn't really want to see this happening it wouldn't make sense to me to hold on to my longs as tightly as I am at the moment so this is a big level for me obviously if we lost the level and then reclaimed it well then that's you know that would be then a sign of strength so you obviously have to react to what's happening just because you lose a level doesn't mean you cannot reclaim it but a loss of that weekly level for me is important that is coming in against ETH BTC at 0 0.06 sats okay so obviously what you could bear in mind here is if if, if Bitcoin breaks down from this rising wedge okay and the ETH BTC pair temporarily loses the weekly but then the Bitcoin pair actually fakes out of the rising wedge and rises and the ETH BTC pair does a little bit of a fake out before a reclaim. Obviously, that would be temporarily bearish and you would have to remain cautious because if Bitcoin's breaking down and ETH is breaking down, you know, there's no need to catch the falling knife. There's no need to be the hero. But what you could say is, OK, you know, potentially close out of the longs, take profits. But if it gets the reclaim. Well, that's actually a very good sign. That would be from a sign of weakness to a sign of strength. And you have to have that bit of intuition, bit of guts about you to recognize when when weakness turns to strength. OK, and in this case, it's fairly simple because we have a very, very, very well defined level in terms of the weekly. OK, so that's kind of my game plan right now. That's how I am literally trading ETH. I am long on ETH. I am long on Bitcoin and I have a long on a few other altcoins as well, actually. And that's kind of my game plan for this. I have no reason to um, trade it otherwise right now. We're in a very nice defined range. So that brings us on to the $85,000 prediction. So this might blow your mind. You might think, Daniel, you're not the type of guy that makes these kind of wild predictions. What's going on here? Well, what's going on here is <laughs> I got peer pressured into making this prediction. I know I got baited into it pretty much. I got Somebody made a lovely 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 uh thumbnail and you know it warranted talking about it in the video because it was pretty funny uh, and i will put use that thumbnail for this video with probably a lovely lovely title uh but yeah eighty five thousand dollar eve is this realistic 
is this, you know, is there a potential in this? And what would we need to see in terms of Bitcoin and Ethereum to, to reach, you know, these sort of insane price targets? Um, well, I've already done a little bit of math. Um, in my opinion, 85,000 seems a little bit unrealistic, of course, possible. I think if we saw the best case, best case scenario, I've seen price of around $65,000, $69,000 ETH, but this would require Bitcoin trading at 350,000, uh, you know, so it would require, it would basically, for, for the target that I just mentioned about $65,000, $69,000, requires Bitcoin trading at around uh, yeah, $350,000. And it requires, um, you know, the ETH BTC pair to get about a thousand percent gain to the upside, which would do, which basically sees it trading at around 0 0.5. So if you see that about a thousand percent gain, again, this, this is so long term, like you cannot trade off of this. So let's just bear this in mind. This is totally a wild prediction. And, you know, the, the, it just makes no sense in my trading strategy to talk, you know, I would never, ever, ever trade for such crazy predictions, you know, because it's just not what I do. I'm just doing this to entertainment and educational video. The only way you would see such insane price targets on ETH is for this to hit around 0 0.5, Bitcoin to be trading at around 350,000 and then you would see your price targets coming in at around, you know, you know, mid 60k on ETH 85,000 saying it's going to have to go crazy but yeah, if this obviously starts breaking 0 0.5 and heads to 0, you know, 0 0.1, well well done to anybody holding any ETH because uh, it's going to be pretty insane but again i'm really not thinking about that all i'm thinking about is this local range yeah this is what i'm all about this is what i'm trading this is how you can make money in my opinion in in trading it's not by these wild crazy predictions um they're just for yeah i don't even know what they're for but they're just for yeah the, the, this is how i would say you trade you can make money because this is consistent you've got the consistent levels you got you know where you're entering you know where you're wrong you know, you can make an actually informed plan out of that. So that, that's my opinion on ETH. That's how I'm currently approaching this. And uh, for me, I'm, I'm very happy with this. Um, bit of information to end. If you're interested, some really, really, really good news today. And that is Bybit actually listed BNB, Soul, Matic, EOS, Ethereum Classic, and Phil. Uh, obviously, off of the news that I'm sure many of you saw that Binance are getting, um, you know, they're banned by the FCA. Again, do your own research and all of this. There's a few links here that you can use. Customer services found, obviously, on the BBC, on Watchdog. So it seems pretty legit information, but do your own research on this. Uh, but yeah, off of the back of Binance getting in a lot of bad news, Bybit come up with the... Um, <laughs> come up with the goods of offering us at least to be able to trade BNB, which I do find kind of hilarious, you know. So, yeah, if you're interested in joining Bybit, you can get up the, the well, obviously, lots of people will advertise about a $2,000 bonus. The thing is, it's very unre kind of unrealistic that you'll get such a high bonus, but you can at least guarantee yourself, you know, a lower amount with our affiliate bonus link if you're interested in that i'll leave it in the comments down below uh ladies and gentlemen uh what i will say is if you have enjoyed this video smash the likes i would really 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 appreciate that and if you do want to see my bitcoin analysis obviously currently in a long on that then uh yeah let's say this gets I don't know, let's give you a bit of a target, 1,500 likes, and that will require everybody to hit the thumbs up button um, because it's quite hard to get such a high amount of likes. So if you want to see a Bitcoin analysis by me for free on YouTube, and again, I will have no trolling in this one, a serious analysis, then yeah, smash the likes, 1,500, I'll bring you a Bitcoin analysis. Um, so if that sounds good, you know what to do. Smash the likes, share this with your friends, Ladies and gentlemen, hope you've enjoyed. I hope it's offered you a bit of perspective. As an ending, as always, no financial advice. All of this video, edu edu entertainment, educational video only. Of course, I'm not telling anybody what to do. And uh, please understand this legal disclaimer. So yeah, there you go. Have a good day. Thank you. And that's me signing out. Cheers. Bye.